Hey guys, what up? It's Charlie from Odd Animal Specimens. Today I brought out a nice collection of butterflies from the insect collection that all look different. And a nice variety of microscopes here. Compound microscope that gets super up close. Stereoscope that gets a little farther away. And here's just a stand for the camera. We're gonna throw all these butterflies and moths under the scopes and see what they look like very up close. I think it's gonna be pretty cool because we have a variety of specimens right here. We have kind of like a pale blue morpho, kind of like a standard morpho that you might see in a butterfly house. There's the super shiny morpho butterfly. This one is insane. It's, it's glossy, it looks like it's shining. There's a rainbow sunset moth, which is all different sorts of colors, which might look very strange. And then to top it off, there's the glass wing butterfly, which I'm most interested in checking out uh, because it has, transparent wings. I, those are definitely gonna look different than the rest, which is gonna be kind of neat. So let's shut off the lights and get going. We're gonna start with the Morpho. Okay, here's our blue Morpho. I kinda wanna check out uh, these blue stripes under the microscope. I think they'd be the most interesting. So let's check them out. So this is the center of the butterfly. Let's move it over to the left. And you can see that blue stripe kind of coming in to view. Hmm. Kind of looks like um, nylon fabric, like some sort of fabric or something like that. You can see all the scales that it's made out of. And they're even color covering that vein part. Let's get up close on the uh, compound microscope. So this is strange. This is something I didn't really expect there. If you could see, they seem kind of see-through, which is very strange. I, I didn't really expect this. You know, I expected them more to be kind of like like a, a strong blue or something like that. Definitely not see-through like this, but it makes me wonder what the other Morpho might look like, the one that's much shinier. So let's bring that one out and uh, see what those look like under the microscope. Here's the other blue Morpho. It's much, much shinier. So I wonder if these scales look any different. Nice view at the center of the butterfly. You can kind of tell already. We'll get a better view when we look at that wing. Yeah, it almost looks like, um, I don't know, that fabric that has all those sequins on it, you know, that reflects light. This looks cool. I was moving the light around. You could see how it shimmers. Ooh, very cool. Definitely like a a sequin dress fabric or something like that. On the compound, here's something that was very strange on the compound microscope. Watch, see when I move the light around, they switch colors between brown and blue. This is the same spot I was just kind of shifting that light around. I have no idea why. It must be the way that it makes that blue color or they reflect light. Here's a spot that's a bit more blue. Oh, and even closer, it looks like, like sparkly shingles on a roof or something like that. So these ones definitely not as translucent as the other ones. I think I like this one a little bit better and it gets me pretty excited to check out that sunset moth because it's all different colors. Let's see what that looks like. You can see on the sunset moth, we have some green, blue, orange, red, pretty much everything. So let's throw this under the scope and see what it looks like. All right, here we started on the left wing, kind of the bottom left part of the butterfly, of the moth, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, these are much shinier. The cool part here, I think, see the black parts, the darker parts, those are also made out of scales. This is my favorite part. It almost looks like a, a blanket or something like that with that fringed edge. I love that blue color. Here, just a little closer. This was kind of a bluish, greenish part. Oh no, here's the green. That red, it looks like it's glowing. And here's a super close up. It's hard to get everything in focus because the depth of field is so shallow, but they look like super shiny ribbons or something like that. 
The last thing we got to pull out is that glasswing butterfly. I mean, everything kind of looks like it has those scales that either look like shingles or like sparkly ribbon or something like that. But I have no idea what the glasswing was is going to look like. Is it going to be just like translucent scales on it, or will it have something besides scales? Uh, I'm not really sure. So let's check it out. Remember, here's that glass wing. It's totally translucent wings. This is going to look kind of strange. Mm. Huh. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks hairy. So if you see it like the, uh, on the veins, kind of, I don't know exactly what they're called, but what might be the veins, they look like there's some small scales, but everything else kind of looks like a hairy leg or something like that. That's so odd. I don't know if these are scales that are just very, very small and fine, like hairs, or if there's something else. But here on the compound scope, same thing. It just looks like a bunch of hairs, like a hairy leg. That's so strange. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what else you'd like to see under the scope. See you guys.